Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and this is part 4 of the BA Publisher tutorial. In the last video, we um, learned how to edit an existing layout. We also learned how to add a new layout to the report. Today, we're going to add an additional layout to the report. We're also going to learn how to use a repeating group to group items and show um, sum of invoice amounts by each group and we're also going to include a graph in the BI Publisher report. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Arun. I make videos on ERP Cloud, EPM, integrations and analytics. If you are interested in these topics, consider subscribing to the channel. All right, everyone, let's get into it. I'm currently in the report uh, layout and you can see the two different layouts that we created and we also can see the data model. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layout. If you wanna see how to edit and create new layouts, you can check out the last video. So the intention is the new layout, we're gonna have a group of invoice type and sum of invoice amounts by that group in a tabular format and then we'll have a graphical representation of that information in the same report layout. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and choose blank landscape. And this time I'm just gonna take it step by step. I'm not gonna show you the finished product uh, at first. We'll work through this, okay? First thing we wanna do is, um, let's go ahead and create a repeating section. And a repeating section is what allows us to uh, create groups. So in the SQL that we created in the data model that we created, we're not grouping. We don't have any groups in there, but we can use the repeating section function to create groups. So now what I'm gonna do is I want to have sum of invoice amounts by invoice type. So I wanna create a group by invoice type. So I'm gonna select invoice type lookup code, click okay. And you will see that we have invoice type lookup code group created. And now you can add your information or data columns into this. Let's go ahead and insert um, layout. Just gonna click and grab the layout grid in inside the repeating group. Now, I'm gonna have two columns, one for invoice type, one for sum of invoice amount. So one row and two columns. And my first column, I need to have the invoice type. So I'm just going to drag and drop that one. And in the second column, I will have the invoice amount. Okay. So this is what I want to do now. Let's, let me save this and we'll run this and see how it looks. We have invoice amounts by type as the layout name. Cool. Now let's go ahead and run this. So let me use the PDF format. So it's going to open up a new tab. All right. So it's going to show me the different invoice types. So these are all the seven different invoice types that we have. And it shows an amount to the right for each of those invoice types. Now, I can tell you this amount is not correct. Okay. Um, and we, I'll show you how to fix this. So what I did before the um, video is, before I started recording the video is to export the data out. And I created a um, pivot chart just to show you what the um, actual sum of invoice amount is by each um, invoice type. So you can see that the data that we see here and the data that we see the report output is different. Okay, so now let's see how we can fix it. All right, so I'm just gonna edit some of these columns. So I'm gonna select the two columns. Gonna include a border, 
um, let's make this uh, dashed and let's change the color to something subtle maybe maybe this one and click OK All right so that's gonna give us our invoice type um, table I'm gonna click the invoice amount I'm gonna change the data formatting to a number format with two decimal places I'm also going to do the formula. So here, uh, right now, it shows you no formula. I'm going to click on that drop down and change that to summation. Okay, now let's go ahead and save this. And let's run the report one more time. All right, so now it shows you a different amount, right? So. Now it is showing, okay, I've grouped it by invoice type and also some of the invoice amount. So in SQL terms, this would be uh, sum of invoice amount grouped by invoice type lookup code, okay? So that's what we are doing and that's what essentially what we did right now. Now, if I look at my um, pivot chart, um, you'll see that the data uh, matches with that, right? Okay, so now I'm confident that the, the uh, data that you see in this is correct. So let's go back. All right, so that's number one. Now let's go ahead and include uh, a chart. So I'm going to drag and drop a chart in here, or you just click on the chart and it's going to create a chart. Um, so we have uh, three sections here. One is the value, one is the series, and one is the label. So my series is basically what I'm grouping by, right? What are the different groups that you want to see? So in this case, I want to see the different invoice types. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop invoice type lookup code into the uh, series here. And what's the label that I want to see, right? I want to see the same label which is invoice type lookup code. So I'm going to drag and drop that down here. And what's the amount that you want to see? So I want to see the invoice amount, right? So that's the value field. So now you can see that it shows me the uh, chart. It shows me a bar and it shows me the type here, okay? Now, a few things that I want to change here. Um, so if I'm, I'm already in the chart, click on properties. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the chart plot area. Now I'm going to change the background color to a light gray. And you can see that changes. And I want to see the data visible. So basically what I want to see is for each bar, I want to show this amount at the top of the bar. So right now you don't see it. So I'm going to select uh, data visible to true. So now you can see that you have the data visible at the top of the bar itself. Now data position, I'm going to say on the max edge or outside. And data font size is, I don't really care. Um, data font, I'm going to change the font to Droid Sans. I'm going to make the uh, data font bold. And think data phone color as well. So I'm going to change this to um, a green color, maybe. Okay. All right. I think that is all I want to do. So let's run this and see how it looks. So make sure you save it. And then go ahead and click the PDF icon. And it's going to run the report. All right, so you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, seven of the invoice types, and then the corresponding amount as well. Now, a few other edits that I want to do here, I'm going to create a layout grid at the bottom. Uh, how many rows do I need? I'm going to need one row and two columns. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this repeating group and move that to the first column in the layout grid 
and then I'm going to select the graph and move it to the second column in the layout grid. All right, let's save this and let's run this one more time. Awesome. Now you have the data table on the left and you have the chart on the right. And let's go ahead and um, create a header. So I'm going to drag and drop the layout grid at the, bar, at the top. Increase the number of rows to four. There's only one column. And I'm going to drag and drop a text field. And give it a name. Uh, invoice amount. Oh, more typing. Invoice amount by invoice type. Okay. And I'm going to make it center justified. Middle. And then make it bold. Change the header to 13 point. And I'm going to change the color to something else. All right. I think that looks good. I'm going to run it one more time. Looks good to me. You obviously can choose your own colors. Don't judge me by the colors that I've used. Um, but I just want to show you how you can create one, a group, a repeating group, and also how to insert a chart. And you see that it's pretty easy to do that in a BI Publisher report using the layout editor. Okay. All right. I'm going to click on done. And now you're going to see three different layouts for the report, right? So the, the same report has three different layouts. Now, if you know, like I showed you last time, you can click on view a list and you can select which one is the default style. You can change the different output formats available. Um, you can make which one is active and stuff like that. Okay. I'm not going to get into those details now. All right. So that's how you add a repeating group and that's how you add a graph to the BI Publisher report. I'm going to stop here and the next video we're going to take a look at modifying the data model to include parameters. I hope you find this helpful and uh, if you find this helpful please give it a thumbs up and um, as always I'm uh, happy to see or happy to get your feedback. Um, you can follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter and uh, I write articles on Medium, so maybe follow me there as well. And yeah, feel free to reach out to me if you have questions on this. And uh, share it with your colleagues and friends. And uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. All right. I wish you all a great weekend ahead. And uh, I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.